everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Congressional Western Caucus Chairman's Chat. I'm Chairman Dan Newhouse. Today, I am joined with, by a great friend of mine, Congressman Chuck Fleshman, serves the 3rd District of the State of Tennessee. Yes. Chuck, welcome. I'm glad you are here. You are also my chairman of the Energy and Water Subcommittee on Appropriations. So I wanted to extend my Welcome to you. Thanks for coming. And uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and a little bit about Energy and Water Subcommittee, why that's important. Well, first and foremost, Dan, I want to thank you for your tireless work uh, on the Energy and Water Subcommittee. You, like myself, are a champion for environmental cleanup. Uh, you've got the Hanford site, which yeah. is so critically important that we place the federal investment um, there so that we can get that cleaned up. I've got the Oak Ridge site, but you and I clean up legacy sites all over this great United States, and uh, that's very, very important to me and to our country. So I thank you, sir. A little bit about me I've represented the third district of Tennessee in the United States House since 2011. And uh, so I'm running for an eighth term. I'm the chairman of the Energy and Water Subcommittee and Appropriations. We are an all appropriations office. Uh, you have a lot of different endeavors, but I'm so pleased that you also are an appropriator. But uh, I chair the Energy and Water Subcommittee, uh, and really that's one of the main reasons I joined the Western Caucus. I've always been intrigued by that, but I'm from East Tennessee. So uh, it's been a bit of a learning curve on Western water, but so critically important, not only to your state, but to the entire West, we're here to help. Well, thank you, Chuck. Um, enjoy working with you on the Energy and Water Subcommittee. And uh, I was going to make a joke about this, it seems to be, but you are rightfully proud to have Oak Ridge National Laboratory in your district. I also am proud to have a Pacific Northwest National Laboratory in my district. So, as being two representatives of, I think, the jewels of the nation, uh, as it relates to our national labs and their focus on nuclear energy. Could you talk a little bit about that and why these labs are such a such a big deal and why, why we love them so much? Absolutely, Dan. In addition to chairing the Nuclear Cleanup Caucus and the Spent Nuclear Fuel Caucus, I'm the chair of the National Labs Caucus. There are 17 national labs. Yours is obviously a stellar national lab, as is Oak Ridge. They are so critically important. The scientific research that is done there, the work that some of them do for the NNSA, but these are really America's crown jewels in terms of yep. research. Um, and I will also say this, uh, in my tenure in con Congress, um, we created the Manhattan Project National Park. Worked yep. very hard on that. Oak Ridge, Los Alamos, and Hanford. Uh, it could not have been done without Hanford, your great district, um, and it's one of the few national parks that actually sits in three venues. So critically important to recognize that great accomplishment. You're still doing great things out there, but your lab is great, my lab is great, they're all phenomenal. We need to continue to fund them. That is done through, uh, obviously, the Energy and Water Subcommittee and Appropriations, and you've been a great advocate for that, I think. So, Chuck. If you look at Tennessee and Washington State, a lot of people probably wouldn't see a lot of similarities, but you've got the Tennessee Valley Authority. TV, I guess we do. I've got the Bonneville Power Association. You've got uh, hydropower. I've got hydropower. Talk a little bit about nuclear. If you, let's switch gears to hydro. Why, why is that so important for the country? Why, why should we continue to support well, hydro? I'm so glad you talked about hydro because nuclear, and you've worked so hard on nuclear with me as part of our growing portfolio. TVA is 47% nuclear, but it's 11% hydro. Hydro is clean, it's reliable. There are dams uh, that TVA created 80 years ago that are still producing clean, reliable electricity. And I know in your part of the world, you've got some phenomenal dams, and we're going to need more power. For more electricity as our, our nation continues to grow. I mean, some of the estimates are staggering. Hydro is going to be a key, key part of that. So uh, those are cherished, cherished uh, facilities in your district yeah. and in mine, and we want them to 
continue, and they can continue uh, if left alone for probably hundreds of years. Well, Chuck, Chairman Fleshko, it's, it certainly gives me a lot of confidence that you, to know that someone like yourself is in charge of such an important committee of the, under the Appropriations uh, Committee. Energy and water is key to my district in those very important years. It's very important to people around the country as we go into the future, as the population grows, our energy needs grow, certainly our water needs grow. Uh, before we close today, any parting thoughts for our, our viewers? Well, I do think it's very important to also stress, Dan, that uh, you and I have come from the same party, but there's tremendous bipartisan and bicameral support for the things that we advocate for, cleaning up legacy sites. I work with members of both parties and both houses, and even the administration on things like that. It's very important. We owe that to the American people. Uh, you mentioned hydropower and nuclear power. Wide areas within the energy and water bill of agreement uh, among really the majority of Americans and the majority of representatives. Uh, but I think it's so critically important. And I thank you for serving, I think you said three and a half years as chairman of the Western Caucus. Very important because I have found out, despite similarities, there are very strong regional differences. And I know how important water is to the West. Uh, and I want to, as chairman of the Energy and Water Subcommittee, work with you to make sure that we deliver the needs of the people in the western part of the United States for water and other things. So I thank you for your advocacy. Very good. Well, there you have it. Gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, Chuck Fleshman, chairman of the Subcommittee of Appropriations on Energy and Water from the 3rd District of the great state of Tennessee. Thank you for being with us, Chuck. Appreciate Pleasure. it. Thanks, Dan. Thank you.